All right, today I'm going to demonstrate a drag and drop that's a little bit different than other ones because what it's going to do is reveal a picture the more answers you get correct. So let's do a quick preview so that you can see exactly what I mean. All right, so here's some basics. And for right now, I just made one through four being correct and the last two being wrong. So if I drop these on, they just pop off. But when I drag these ones on, you notice it went from a black picture to a little bit more detail, a little bit more detail. So you have a full color, full visual. And again, this can be used for something handy. Um, after I think about Benjamin Franklin, I said, okay, let's see you know, how clear your picture is of Benjamin Franklin or something of that nature, I said. And when they drag down facts about his life that were correct, it revealed more of the picture until you get the full-on picture. So that's how it was made. That's what it looks like. The final product looks how it was made. It's actually pretty simple. Composed of three parts. Um, you have your draggable sections or draggable fact squares onto your dra uh, your drop box. Uh, just labeled facts, and you actually have four pictures here, um, all with excuse me five pictures, all with more and more details taken in or taken out. I just did that in Photoshop, brought it in and then started using some of the filter galleries to take out and make it look a little bit more indistinguishable at each level. Saved them out until I got these. So they're all stacked, layered perfectly on top of each other and they're over here on different reveal layers. Okay, So let's see how that was done. First thing we did is we set up these dropping facts and as you can see here I have normal state and then I have another state that I made called correct. I changed the color just so the user will know that it is indeed correct, a visual cue. Um, but more importantly I needed it to detect that this thing was indeed correct. So in other words it was dropped from here to here and I was correct so therefore I want to do something with it. What we did with that we said if any one of these, I just called it choice one or CH1 in this case, when it's dragged on, dropped onto the drop area, I want you to change the state to that custom state that I made call correct. Okay. And what I want you to do is adjust a variable. I made a variable called score. Actually, let me. It, as a number type, the default value is zero um, because I don't want—I want obviously your score to be zero when you first start. But when you drag any one of these on that are correct, I want you to adjust the variable of score. And from operator, I chose add, add the value what, and we—I made it into ten. Whenever it's dropped on to the drop area, so it's doing two things: it's detecting if it's correct. If it's correct change it to 10 points or give it 10 points okay now when you look at the different areas then oops, excuse me let me jump up here here we go so as you can see here I said show layer show layer when we're going to see what layer we're going to show level B uh, B2 when the variable changes of score and we're seeing that the score is equal to 10 so you could drag on any one of these that are correct and it will give it 10 points. And as your score goes up, 10, 20, 30, 40 points, when you get to the full reveal, then you get, again, when you drop on all four of these, you get 40 points and that will indeed reveal the last layer. It's actually pretty simple once you figure out some of the basics on make you know changing the variable and such. But it's again it can be a handy way a, a little bit of change on the typical drag and drop. Um, but play around with it and see what you can do. And if you have any questions, drop me a line. I'll talk to you later. Bye. And thank you for watching. Let's talk about tech.